I thought I was doing something good for science, but in the end, it was the worst thing I could ever have done. They thought they were coming here to take part in medical testing of a new drug. Something went wrong. When you take a new drug into humans for the first time, it's never without risk. My whole body just went freezing cold and I started shaking. This wasn't something you could stop. Everything was happening all at once, vomiting, screaming in pain. It was extremely scary. Hey, Ryan, you're still with me? We had no way of predicting how severe it was going to get. There was no rule book for how to deal with this. This was a mystery. They thought we looked like the elephant man. Six men remain seriously... Everybody wanted to get a glimpse of these atrocious monsters. As a never event, it should never happen. It was okay. profound. I mean, this is unprecedented. Ah, it's really it was like a horror movie with, with the way it was set up. Something could have been tampered with, sabotaged, poisoned. I have never seen anything like this before. I was in intensive care fighting for my life and someone was responsible for that. Paraxel is a, a large multinational contract research organisation. They had a site which they leased from Northwick Park Hospital and they were doing clinical trials independently from the hospital um, on early phase development of new drugs. I was about 31. I'd just come back from LA. I'd been there for two months doing an acting course for screen. Uh, it was a really good time, but I'd managed to get a little bit of debt behind me. A friend of mine had done trials, and he said I should sign up. They were offering £2,000, and I thought that was OK. I was interested in the, the kind of historical well, just a scientific contribution I could be making. When I saw the ad, I was like, £2,000 for three days' work seemed like a, a good deal to me, um, considering I'd done two previous trials and, and it, wasn't, it wasn't hard work. When I first arrived at the Paraxel unit, I was running late. I was only 23, so I was a, a baby. <laughs> and uh, I just finished university. I was in between a couple of jobs. Medical trials were kind of like a get-rich-quick scheme. A no-brainer, really. After we had had some tests done, we received a pile of paperwork. Um, there was a doctor there. Ah, oh, there we are. I think we were missing someone. Um, and he quickly went through what the drug was going to be about. The drug itself was supposed to um, be able to um, treat uh, leukemia. TGN1412 is a type of drug called a monoclonal antibody. It's important to realise, I think, that we stand on the threshold of a revolution in the way certain types of uh, illnesses, particularly cancers, are treated. 
the traditional approach to treating cancers has been options such as surgery, chemotherapy or radiotherapy. Chemotherapy agents, as you probably know, are essentially poisons. So TGN 1412 was intended to treat cancers by educating our own immune system into dealing with them. Now that's clearly a preferable option. I thought it's a nice thing to do these trials because uh, not only am I getting some cash for participating, but uh, it's helping science and, um, and it's going to help cure people uh, further on down the track, hopefully. Well, thanks for that. And you get paid as well, so <laughs> bonus. <laughs> so, um, just to... Every one of the drugs that we all commonly use were once first used in humans. They have to go through that stage before they go into bigger trials and then into widespread use. This was a drug that had shown great promise in uh, animal studies. And the TGN 1412 trial was a first in man study. And the first study in humans is about getting to understand um, how the body deals with the medicine, how it handles it. It was a first in man study at the time. He didn't really kind of sink in about how actually, how important the first man study is. It was never really discussed in great detail. It was just one point in 10, 15 points that was set out. The thing I need to get you to do now is to sign a consent form. It's important to know that when one participates in a first in man study, all that's possible should have been done in the preclinical studies to limit any anticipated risk. But when you take a, a new drug into humans for the first time, it's never without some risk. We all knew there's a tiny element of risk, but the side effects were things like you could end up with hives, you could get anaphylactic shock, which is, we can get that from a bee sting. And you can even do a cosmetics trial and have the same reaction. So, hey, you know, there's, there's no concern here. I don't ever remember having any second thoughts I kind of breezed through and signed off um, quite quickly. It was a medicine being tested in a laboratory situation, approved by the government. What could go wrong? <laughs>